कर्मेन्द्रिया संयमूय अस्ते हे मनसा स्मरण इंद्रियान विमुरात्मा मिथ्याचार सौच्यते कर्मेन्द्रिया संयम य अस्ते हे मनसा स्मरण इंद्रियान विमुरात्मा मिथ्याचारो सौच्यते गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी रघुप्रभा परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड निष्कपट निष्कपट व्यक्ति एनीबॉडी हु इज निष्कपट कैन गेट मंगल समडे बा दोज हु आर नॉट निष्कपट दे कैन नेवर एटेन मंगल नॉट पॉसिबल गौर गोष्ठीपति श्री श्री भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रभुपात परमंश जगत गुरु टो दोज हु आर निष्कपट दे कैन गेट बांगल दोज हु आर नॉट निष्कपट कपट दे कैन नेवर एटेन मंगल दे इज अल सो वीकनेस इज कम्प्लीटली सेपरेट थिंग एंड कपट बाप is completely separate thing weak weakness can be there proper speaking weakness can be there that's not a big problem weakness can be there but that weakness is not such a big problem weakness can go away today or tomorrow today or tomorrow weakness can go away by the mercy of guru vishnu but those who are kapat making nice strategy they are making nice strategy eh? to get some advantage to enjoy in the name of bhajan they can never get mangal not possible also somebody asking to propa to follow somebody and to imitate somebody If I am going to imitate my guru barga, that is not good. But if I am following my guru barga, if my life is totally dedicated unto a lotus feet of guru barga, then I can get surely I can get mangal. Nobody can stop me. Now it is our bhajan at present. we are playing bhajan bhajan play bhajan bhajan game we are playing a drama like bhajan bhajan game like in the boyhood we used to do hide and seek this kind of game going on in the name of hari bhajan in the name of gauriya bhajan this kind of thing going on and people are in confusion people at present are in great confusion people at present they are in great confusion whom to follow how to follow they cannot understand this is the plotting of maya we have nothing to do we are trying our best we are trying our best to project the absolute truth we are trying our best to project the absolute truth in front of people public including all devotee non devotee everything now it depends upon them because according to sanskar they can they can some they can get inspiration to follow us or they cannot feel inspiration to follow us follow There is a condition. So there is no solution. We can never find any solution with kapat people. We can find solution with weak people. Go down some wrong thing, weak, very weak people. Then we can find. But kapat people, with kapat people, there is never possible to find any solution. like in the uh, like it is written those who are sleeping those who are sleeping 
those who are sleeping, if we call them, they can get up. Follow what I say. Those who are sleeping, if we call them, they can get up. But those who are not sleeping, acting as a drama of sleeping, then you cannot call him up. It's not possible. So in Upanishad, it is written, but nobody can hear. <laughs> nobody can hear. Uttishtata jagrata prapa varana nivodhato khurasadhara nishithaya durgam patastat kavayo vadhanti. Upanishad is going to call us, get up, get up, why you are sleeping? Why you are sleeping? Anisa, get up. Uttishtata jagrata prapa varana, why you are not getting? Blessings, benediction it is waiting for you, Kripa. Why you are not taking, accepting? Uttishchata Jagrata Prapa Varano Nibodhato. Try to try to get back your consciousness, which is a symptom of actual actual which is a symptom of an actual human being. Uttishyata Jagrata Prapa Bharano Nibodhato Hear us Nibodhato Prapa Bharano Nibodhato Kurashadhara Nishithaya Durgam Patastha Kavaya Vadanti So, sometime I am thinking what to do. I can stop everything and do only Harinam and Kirtan or I can do something for the whole world. Now I am thinking. By the order of Prabhupada, we are taking so much in our step. By the order of Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur, we are bound to do this kind of seva. To help people to develop actual consciousness. In the name of consciousness, in the name of, in the name of, in the name of increasing Krishna consciousness, if I am going to help people to go into darkness, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Bhagwan watching everything. Bhagwan is not blind. Bhagwan sitting inside the heart of everybody, watching everything. If my purpose is good, nobody can stop me. If my purpose is very dirty, then I can get punishment. All Acharya speaking like that. It depends upon what is my mood. One bonded soul cannot pass any remark about one devotee, pure devotee. One bonded soul can never pass any remark about any, any Acharya. Ramchandra Puri took trouble. Ramchandra Puri eh, wanted to pass a remark, wanted to give advice to Gurudev. Finally, you see the condition. Finally, you see the condition. We should not develop that kind of audacity to give advice to an Acharya, who is established in Acharan, not that he is passing lecture. First of all, you try to climb the neutral position. Otherwise, you can take one side and you can fall down. Not fall down, you can lose everything forever. You can get lost. Please try to understand. Otherwise, big problem can arise. So, if somebody is going to follow our Guru Bhargava, that's not a, it's very good. Follow. Anusharan. But those who want to immediate, those who like to immediate, there is big problem. Immediate means kapat. Gauriya Goshtipati Sisila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Paramahansa Jagat Guru said, that anugatta, uh, anugatta means 
following somebody. Anugatta and flattering is not same. Anugatta, following some Guru Bhargava and to imitate Guru Bhargava is not same. Not at all. Not at all same. Most of the people, most of the people mean out of 100%, 100, out of 100%, 99.99% or more than that. I mean, we cannot make any figure. Even we cannot make any figure. So, uh, you know, a very few people, a very, very few people, they understand the difference between after hearing Harikatha for 8-10 years, if somebody cannot understand my heart, then what kind of Harikatha he had? <laughs> Pope was speaking. After hearing so many Harikatha, so countless Harikatha, after hearing Kirtan of Kalyan, Kalpataru, Saranagati, everything, after that, they left me. They left me. Papa laughing. That is the magic spell of Maya Devi. That is the magic spell of Maya Devi. Maya Devi cannot allow you to understand. Maya Devi cannot allow you to understand the absolute truth. Maya Devi cannot allow you to understand, to realize the absolute truth. Maya Devi can make you blind. Maya Devi can make you blind. Mayadavi cannot allow you to understand. It is the plotting of Mayadavi. So whom to blame? So, most of the people, they are in confusion about what is called Anugatva and Anukaran. Anugatva means following somebody and Anukaran means imitation. Imitation is strictly prohibited. And by the by, it is very good, it is very relevant uh, topics. In our childhood, in our boyhood, we used to, I uh, know, we used to read, all that glitters is not gold. Follow. But also we know that, also we know that original gold you cannot realize. Imitation gold, imitational, imitational golden ornament is more bright, more bright and more practical for common people, foolish people. Those imitation gold, those those imitational golden ornament getting more and more honor at present. More and more honor at present. Very, very. Because people, they feel attraction. They feel attraction for, for imitational ornament. Not golden ornament. It looks like gold. It looks like gold, not actual gold. But people are feeling attraction for that kind of false golden, false golden ornament. This is the condition. At present, people are feeling attraction for false harikatha, false devotional situation, external glamour, position, Follow. They are going to subscribe. They are going to subscribe them. So most of the people, Papa speaking, most of the people, they are in confusion about, imit about imitation and they think, and they think that this is, this is actually Anusmaran, this is actually following Guru Bhargava, but this is not actually 
This is this cannot be called actually anugatha, but people think. Popa giving example, one man in a drama, in a drama, one man playing the role of Narad, Narad. One man playing the role of Narad with big, you know, matted hair, with one musical instrument in hand, sweet, you know, singing mood, very nice. So, a player of a, a player of a drama who is playing the role of a Narad, I mean to to play the role of Narad and actual Narad and his instruction is not same. To play the role of Narad and to follow Naraji Maharaj and his instruction is not at all. Same, Papa speaking, artificially, artificially, if we are doing with kapat mood, if we are doing everything with kapat mood, artificially, that is called onukaran, imitation. And to follow Guru Vaishnava Mahajan in true sense, Mahajano Yeno Gato Sapantya, it in true sense, if we follow, that is called Onusmaran to follow our Guru. Bhav. We feel, we 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 like to feel, we like to feel, we 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 feel happy, we feel happy, we feel happy, we feel happy. When people speaking that I am a great, we feel happy when we are following some kapat sadhu. We feel happy. Because we are giving, getting all position, honor, money, position, everything, communication. We think in, in our devotional life, we, we, we regret to stick we regret to we regret to speak this thing that that we regret to speak this thing that we are kapat we are not doing actual bhajan we feel we think we think we think that we are following our guru bhargava we think we think that we are following our guru bhargava but actually not so. We think that we are following our Guru Varga, but not actually so. But we are just opposite. We are doing some Im imitation. Can we expect, it is my request to you all common public, can you expect, can you, have you seen, have you seen in your life any picture of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Krishna? Have you seen any picture in the life of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada with watch in his hand, in his wristwatch? Who is going to make this kind of mischievous activities? Who is going to make this kind of mischievous activities? Who is going to do? They must get punishment. Prabhupada never used. Never, never. Total detachment. Where from we are getting this? So, this way, we are going to make some con mentally concocted Siddhanta Vichar, everything, to misguide people. Anusaran means, if I follow my Guru Bharga, then all Acharan, all my activities, everything you can find, similarity with our Guru Bharga. What they have done, you can find similarity. Follow. Onus Maran, if I follow my Guru Bharga, if I follow my Guru Bharga, that's when I am going to, I am going to do same Acharan. But only I am passing lecture, but not following Guru Bharga in true sense. Then no Acharan, 
it is called anukaran imitation so proba speaking chemical gold chemical gold at present chemical gold at present is more and more important than original gold what to speak proba speaking we have one we have our we have our proba speaking chemical gold proba speaking chemical gold at present is more and more important than original gold proba speaking inside our heart there is one tendency there is one tendency to accept to accept one procedure of vipralipsa we have inside our heart one tendency to follow the track of vipralipsa vipralipsa mean to cheat other and to cheat yourself this is going on so vipralisa is self cheating propensity is called vipralisa you are cheating guru varga try to understand you are trying to cheat guru varga guru varga you you are trying to cheat our guru parampara that's mean you are going to cheat yourself so blind so material so material so material they even they have no abc idea about spiritual consciousness no abc idea totally material they are eating sleeping speaking all in the name of bhajan they are all doing material activities no trace of no symptom but you have no patience to hear you have no patience to hear what i mean to say i can prove mathematically not verbally i can prove, i am giving you one by one scriptural evidence i am giving you one by one scriptural evidence but still you you like to violate no why even you are ready to confess that my siddhant which is okay you are speaking well what you are speaking all okay still you are doing still why you are doing different kind of comments coming but i will have to follow my tra track of the prabhupad i cannot live seva this is my seva so people can do argument let them do argument but i have to do seva if they come with neutral mood then they can understand what i am doing for so long this kind of thing going on people don't understand what is called imitation imitating some guru varga and to following guru varga not same not same we have our we have our one tendency inside a heart which is called self cheating which is called self cheating self cheating propensity which is called vipralipsa so if we like to cheat our guru parampara bhakti if i like to cheat bhakti siddhant saraswati bhakti vinod thakur or guru varga then that's when i am going to cheat myself i don't understand i am going to lose my spiritual position only money and garland everything can but i am going away i am going long and long away i i cannot realize that i am going away long and long distance from the absolute truth that i that i forget i am so intelligent that i can start argument with acharya to to get lost in this material world hello i can remember i can remember one incident bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami dr prabha he was in elahabad they are preaching going on an exhibition preaching everything demonstration i mean exhibition going on preaching going on 
One day, Prabhupada doing his seva inside his room. Some material man is district magistrate or something like that. I forget. He coming to meet with Bhakti Shidan the Sarasthi Gosendra Prabhupada, and he started speaking something wrong. Prabhupada wanted to give some uh, some. Judgment, Siddhanta Bicha, to rectify his heart, to deliver him from his darkness of ignorance. But that man was not at all ready to accept the absolute truth. If you have taken resolution that I don't like to hear what Baba is speaking, if you have already taken if you have already taken resolution in your life. That you are not at all ready to accept all absolute Siddhanta Vichar, what Baba is speaking. Then my father, grandfather, they, if they come, Prabhupada, Bhakti Muttaka, they cannot make you understand. Because you have taken resolution that I will not understand. I will not understand. You have taken resolution. Otherwise, you come to me, you come with a boy of 8 years or 10 years. You come to me with a boy of 10 years or 8 years or 5 years like Ochutananda. Ochutananda, you know, never you heart. You are, you are full of enjoying mood. You cannot understand. You are losing everything. I, I fear that you can get lost in the material world where I can go to search you. I live, I love you all. I am going to sacrifice all my personal reputation, love, puja, pati, everything just to help you to accept that absolute truth. But still you are not ready. You are watching me for a long time, but still you cannot accept. That is called Maya. Achyutananda is the boy of four years, five years boy. I mean the son of Advaita Acharya. When somebody asking to Advaita Acharya, who is the guru of Chaitanya Dev, then Advaita Gosai, Advaita Gosai wanted to give answer to that man, but because that man is not you know, spiritually conscious enough, so he wanted to give some such answer so that he can get satisfied, not from heart. And he said, Who is the guru? I said, he, his guru is, you know, Ishar Puripad. He took sannyas from, from, uh, that, you know, Brahm, uh, what do you say? Kesha Bharati. The boy was busy, the small boy was busy playing with small, other small boys. But when he heard, that the fathers speaking that the guru of Gauranga Mahapu our guru of Chaitanya Mahapu is this. Then he immediately come, running, coming, and speaking to father, you are the you are the uh, you are the authentic personality. But you are speaking this way? Eh? Now you, now you understand that Kali coming, how you can speak. See, Chaitanya is the Supreme Lord, Paratpara Kresha, who can be his Guru? You are speaking this way, you can destroy the whole world. Who is speaking? Who is speaking? Achyutananda. I think you never heard. That's why you come to start argument with me. Achyutananda, small boy, he is going to speak to Father Advaita Gosai. Come on. He is, uh, is uh, Advaita Gosai, Mahavishnu. He wanted to speak such answer to the man, that the man is not spiritually conscious enough. So he wanted to give flat answer, general answer. From not from heart. Because Advaita Gosai surely understands his Supreme Lord. He can, <laughs> who can be his Guru? But still is speaking, uh, so that, that that man can understand. But Achyutananda 
running and come and speaking. You are speaking this way. You can destroy the whole world by speaking this kind of Siddhant. So if Achyutanand, the small boy, can protest further, what is wrong in me if I protest scientific way to defend our Sampradaya? What is wrong? I don't know. If you can come with a with a boy of five years, six years, seven years, eight years, ten years, you can sit in front of me. I can put this question. That the small boy can give right answer, whereas you cannot give a right answer. If I ask this question to small boy, that my father, you see, this is the situation, that's why I'm bound to do this way. Then I can get answer from him. If somebody is speaking this way, what, what is my duty? It, whereas, whereas I am following Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada, still you are going to protest me. Even a small boy can come in favor of me. He can say, surely, this is not good. They should not do. You are coming. Why not you go there? If you are from our sampradaya, why you are not going there to rectify the situation? Which is, eh? why not you go there? You cannot go. You can come here. Eh? You can go. This is more easy. It is more easy for you to stop me speaking that absolute truth. You think it is very easy for you. But you cannot stop them speaking wrong. That is your weakness. That is your weakness. You have your nirapeksha na hoile dharma na jai rakhan. Nirapeksha na hoile dharma na jai rakhan. Until and unless you are standing on a neutral platform, you can never speak about the absolute truth. You can never speak about that absolute truth. It's not possible for you to speak. Follow what I say. So, Achyutananda speaking about the absolute truth and Advaita Gosai agree. Yes, yes, my son, you are right. Yes, my son, you are right. You are my guru. Advaita Gosai not fighting with the swam. Hey, how much adversity you are getting to speak that way? Yeah, why you are speaking not that? Rather, Advaita Gosai is going to take the small boy in a lap and kissing and speaking, really you are my guru. Who is guru? Who is guru? Who is speaking lie? He is guru. In your opinion, who is speaking lie? He is guru. He is guru. Who is successful to preach lie? Because Prabhupada many times told, Negative pitching is very fast, but the result is very bad. Now you can realize. Negative pitching is very fast, but positive pitching like Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada, all our Guru Bhargava, Kesav very, they cannot get popularity. They cannot get popularity. How they can get popularity? How they can get popularity? They cannot get popularity. Because they are speaking about the absolute truth. Negative preaching is very fast. And you can get wide acclamation. You can praise, you can clap because of that negative preaching. False preaching. If you preach under the guidance of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Gosvetra Prabhupada and Bhakti Vetra, I can challenge in front of you. I can challenge in front of you. If you speak each and every word spoken by Prabhupada and Bhakti Thakur, how much preaching you can do, you show me. You show me if you have a power. You show me. You cannot do. So you are so foolish. Even you cannot understand the sacrifice of Guru Varga. Those who wanted to give their life, Prabhupada already told, our life should be dedicated unto a lotus feet of that absolute truth. We should sacrifice our life in the Sankirtan, Jagyagni, all you heard, but you did, but you forget everything. That is your bhajan, Hari bhajan. That is your Hari bhajan. You forget everything. Countless Harikatha. 
you forget everything. Now you live. Very good. I am very happy. Anyway, but Gopukumar is not kapat. Gopukumar is not kapat. So Gopukumar getting kripa. So those Vaikunta Parshat, even, even those, even those Vaikunta Parshat, even those Vaikunta Parshat, they are ready to help him to go ahead in bhajan. Even those Vaikunta Parshat, they are saying, they are saying, always we are ready to help you. Vaikunta Parshat speaking. So, how to meet with that Absolute Truth? How to meet with Supreme Lord? How to meet with Supreme Lord? How to see Bhagavan? How to see? Even we are not ready to accept, even we are not ready to accept general apparent truth. Even we are not ready to accept apparent truth, then how we can accept absolute truth? Absolute truth is always bitter. Absolute truth is always bitter. That's why most of the people, they don't like to accept. But apparent truth is very good. Apparent truth. Everybody likes to accept it. Follow what I say. Apparent truth is very good, very tasty, very tasty, very, very tasty. So you can accept. So, Bhagavad Darshan, there is one comparative statement going on how it is possible to. With his material eyes, I was speaking previous Saturday, because Sunday I couldn't speak. I was in another seva in Nilachal Dham Purushottam Khetro. I beg for pardon for that. So I was discarding. With his material eyes, nobody can take darshan of Bhagavan. Bhagavan and Guru Vaishnav can reserve the right of not being exposed to our sense of them. Whereas, we like to start argument with Guru Vishnu. Guru Vishnu, Bhagavan, they all can reserve the right of not being exposed to our sense of But still, many times I told, logical interpretation cannot stand in the way of that absolute truth. But you are going to accept logical interpretation. Still you are failure. Even with logical interpretation, even with logical interpretation, you, you cannot stand in front of me. Because I can give all scriptural evidence. You can go on start. You can go on doing argument. I can give one by one, Siddhanta Vishar, scriptural evidence, and the Siddhanta which are a Prabhupada, you cannot stand. But still, you cannot stop argument. Many times I told, under the guidance of Prabhupada, that logical interpretation, logical interpretation cannot stand in the way of that absolute truth. But you forget everything. After hearing Harikatha, thousands of Harikatha, I heard some lady, Speaking in front of me, that Maharaj, empty. I say, why empty? You heard some? Well, I don't know why. He has done some offense. Is empty. He said, today I am empty. If there is enjoying, enjoying mood, if there is enjoying mood, then you, if there is enjoying mood inside your heart, try to understand. If there is some enjoying mood inside your heart, then you can also try to enjoy Guru Vaishnava. 
You can also try to enjoy Guru Vaishnava, their reputation, everything. I told many times. Even one five years boy, even one five, try to hear with full patience. Try to hear with full patience. Otherwise, you can get lost. Even you been in front of me five and six years boy. In front of him, that small boy. I can insult his mother and father. I can beat, abuse, follow, follow. Then you can ask that boy to glorify me. You are so foolish. You are so foolish. I don't know. Even five years boy can say, after in front of him, I am going to beat his father and mother, abuse. After that. In front of that small boy, that small boy crying. After that, you ask that small boy, you can glorify that man. I mean, follow. That boy can do. Try to understand. Try to come and come to a neutral platform. Otherwise, hundred percent you can get lost. You can come to a neutral platform. Not take any side. If I beat one. I know father and mother abuse them. Then in front of a small boy of five or six years, and after that you ask that boy, you can glorify Sambhava. He can do. So common sense also you are you have done so great offence that you are going to lose even common sense, even common sense gone, even your common sense gone. Even your common sense also gone. He was doing argument with why, 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 why me? I am giving. I can. I am ready to give answer to each and every why. I am ready to give answer to each and every why. But you are. You have no patience to hear. You have no patience. You will have to hear what Papa told. The Papa. What Papa told you will. You will have to hear. Otherwise, you can get lost. You will have to hear what Pope are told. I am less interested about what, who, who, what told, when, how. I am less interested. You will have to hear what Pope are told. So, with material eyes, we have, with material eyes, we have no right to see Guru Vishnu Bhagwan. That's why we get cheated. We come in front of pure devotees, but we get cheated. I wonder. I wonder they have taken shelter of Sadguru. They they claim that they have taken shelter of Sadguru. After that, they are speaking this way. If I know somebody going to somebody going to dishonor and insult my Guru Dev. How I can, how I can glorify that man? Even common sense, I am going to lose my common sense. That's why he told. That's why he told. Follow. I can give you countless evidence. Countless evidence. But still, you are not ready to accept it. It's not possible. Whereas Bhakti Vinod Tagore speaking, Bhakti Vinod Tagore speaking. And in Sastra, tenth canto, you open. Shoti Devi not going to glorify his father because she came to know that father, I mean Dakka Pajabati, he insulted. He is not insult insulting all the time. My husband Sankar, Bhagwan Sankar. All the time insulting. I think you are not following Bhagavad Dharma. You are sakta. You are making confused. If you are following Bhagavad Dharma, how is possible for you to think? So I am not speaking anything exactly what is true. You are recording my comment. I never fear because I know what I am speaking. I am not speaking even a single word lie. 
So I don't fear. You can do some sabbat, you can do whatever you like. Bhagavan Nityananda is there. He can take a step. What I can do? How is possible? Common sense is not possible. If your intention is good to survive in, if your intention is good, if you like to survive in this Saraswat Gauriya Vishnu Sampradaya, in the line of, and to like to live, then please try to understand what he is saying. If you come with neutral mood, I can show you countless, you know, Siddhanta Virod regarding acharan, speech, writing, everything, but you are not ready to. You keep your faith with you, you keep your faith with you, and please try to avoid me. It's more practical for you. Otherwise, I can see your future. Oh my God! Rupam satyam khalu bhagavata satchidananda sandram yogoir grajam bhavati karanair satchidananda rupam mangshakshi bhyam tadati ghatate tashu karunya shaktiya. Shaddo labdha taduchita gater darshanam se hayava. So, Vaikuntha Varsha speaking, I am discussing this thing. I have one question. See Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his manifesting lila, going here and there. So, in the market, Mahaprabhu going to buy some sabji, this, that, going there. Everybody looking, na? <clears throat> Everybody looking a very, very, and a handsome, oh, so nice. But they have no, they had no idea that he was Chaitanya, Bhagavan himself. <clears throat> so according to their sanskar, according, according to our previous sanskar, According to our previous sanskar, we can develop our vision power. Follow. According to our previous sanskar, we can develop our darshanik vichar. Follow. And those who are doing Krishna Bhajan, by the help of Krishna Bhajan and Guru Vaishnava Seva, I mean Krishna Bhajan also, they are developing such a fine darshanic power, super fine darshanic power. And actually, Bhajan means to rectify your dirty darshanic power. Now you have dirty darshan power, so you have to rectify. That is called Hari Bhajan. That's why from Bhagavatam, I am speaking this sloka very often. Yatha yatha atma parimijyate asu matpunna gatha sabano vidhanai tatha tatha pasyati vastu suksham chakshusaivo yatha anyano samprajuktam. Chakshusaivo, chakshusaivo anyano samprajuktam. No yatha, yatha no need of yatha. Chakshusaiva Anyano Sampachukta. Chakshusa Eva. So Jatha Jatha Atma Parimijyata So Matpunna Gatha Sabano Vidhanai Tatha Tatha Pashyati Vastu Suksham Chakshusaiva Anyano Sampachukta. According to our mood, mood of hearing Harikatha, according to our intensity, according to our intensity of hearing Harikatha, from right source, we can develop our, our darshanik vichar. What I mean to say, material people, they are watching everything by, their, by the backing of their previous sanskar. But we, 
want to become vaishnav i am not vaishnav i like to become vaishnav so if i like to become vaishnav i will have to follow the standard judgment given by our guru bhar mahajano jeno gato sapantya so your your darshan your your darshan your darshan now coming down and down and down your darshan coming down so you are like to find fault with acharya guru vishnu guru vishnu they are flawless if they are not flawless they cannot act as acharya i can show you what is the siddhant viruchi with their writing and speech everywhere but still you have your biasness to stick to stick to your you have taken resolution to stick to your biasness so i have not i have no medicine for you so you can go away so i told jivagosai pari jivagosai pad has written in piti sandarbha in piti sandarbha jivagosai written bhagwan is decorated with infinity shakti bhagwan is decorated with infinity shakti but bhagwan bhagwan is decorated with infinity shakti out of that one shakti is self manifesting power follow what i say self manifesting power so self manifesting power mean if i like to see bhagwan forcefully i cannot see but if i submit unto lotus feet of prabhupad bhakti nitagur today or tomorrow i can see today or tomorrow i can see like i can give the example of mukundo and and, and uh, mukundo ha huh? and uh, that what is name uh, uh, my, uh, i forget the name in kalna huh? uh, 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 what is the name uh, mukundo and his son huh? uh, this was uh, every all the time i am speaking the name but now i cannot remember anyway this is one kind of leela uh, so he cannot our uh, you know the small boy he could uh, ragunandan i forget uh, now i remember ragunandan could see bhagwan gopal ragunandan out of his simplicity of heart strong faith that baba always every day giving uh, bhoga to gopal gopal eating and that day the small boy was giving responsibility to 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 give bhoga to gopal and when mukund coming back he is asking you already you know offered yes and gopal took and mother also speaking uh, nothing come return i mean usually we are offering and from there we are taking back and taking prasad the mukundo cannot believe mukundo cannot believe ragunandan speaking uh, i already offered bhoga to go to gopa he already took everything yeah he took yes then mukundo expressing some doubt how possible we never see mukundo is a great devotee but still it is a leela of bhagwan follow so when they okay you can do one thing they laddu one sweet one laddu and a sweet ball sweet ball you think sweet ball mean rasgulla but sweet ball mean round ball which is sweet <laughs> so your uh, your word is not scientific so one laddu was given and father speaking to son okay afternoon time you give you offer it to gopal let me see he is eating eating or not then the small boy going to the deity room and offering gopal and gopal not taking the small boy coming out like father doing because small boy have no idea then after they're going and hey still now you are not eating you take quickly again come not taking 
again enter. Huh? You are not taking, then taking a stick in hand. Eh? Noon time you took, now you are not taking. Father can see, I am a liar, I can beat you. Then Gopal appeared and started taking. And Mukunda in the meantime wanted to see that view. That, that view. And then Gopal stopped taking, stopped eating, and the half ladu is still there in Katwa. You can go. So you don't. So Bhagavan has one special power of self manifesting power. Guru Vishnu also self manifesting. We Prabhupada many times told Guru Vishnu Bhagavan. But the main mistake you are doing, you are, you are going to fight with Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Prabhupada. You don't understand what I mean to say. You are not doing argument with me. Rather, you are starting argument with Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Prabhupada. Because I am their representative. I am speaking all the same thing. So your argument means you are going to get punishment from Bhaktivinoda Thakur and from Bhagavan. Not from me. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur wrote in Kirtan, Vaishnava Charito Sadai Pravitro Je Ninde Hingsha Kuri Bhakti Vinod Na Samba Shetare Sada Thakke Mauna Dhari. Bhaktivinoda Thakur want to maintain a you know, silent mood when some blasphemer and some Vaishnava Paradidya cannot speak. Because of Vaishnava Charito always pure. Also, we know from Sanskrit that everything can get lost. Even common sense. Even common sense can get lost. When we are committing Vaishnava Parat. So, Ayu Sriyo Jasho Dharma. You cannot remember. You have no Brahmacharya. You cannot remember. Many times I told. Ayu Sriyo Yasu Dharmo Lokana Ashi Shevacha Hanti Sayang Sarvani Mahadati Kramaha. When I am going to insult, when I am going to insult one of my godbrother who is established in Bhajan, maybe he is my godbrother, still I can get punishment because he is doing Bhajan. But if he is not doing bhajan, he is kapat, then if I speak some heavy word out of my, out of my causeless mercy, then not out of envious attitude. Out of my, not out of my envious attitude, I am speaking. Like the case of Madhuku Simai, when he first came, before joining, uh, Sri Chaitanya Gurimat, he was staying uh, in, the, in a rented room, cooking and doing some service. Arunna Goswami Maharaj used to go there and chiding, Hey, your hand, crocodile, why you are engaging one outside Brahman by paying salary? Why you are paying salary to a Brahman, your hand were gone? Crocodile eaten up? Why you it? But that is not opera. Because he is speaking out of his causeless mercy. Causeless mercy, there is no interest. When I am chiding my god brother or anybody out of my loveful mood, those who know my heart, they can understand. I can speak heavy, at the same time I can go and embrace. Both I can do. Because I have no envious attitude. Because I have no envious attitude, I can speak. If one, if there is my god brother doing some bhajan, perfectly, without any faults, surely I can give on. I can touch his lotus feet. I can take dust particle form, I cannot speak anything. But even if, if I find his copper, then I can speak some heavy. To save him, to save him, and not out of jealousy. No question. You can go through all my previous books. For the past 15 or 16 years, I am publishing so many books by the mercy of Bhagavan. By the mercy of Bhagavan. I have no money, no penny. But I am not putting my name. 
if you, if you if you suspect me if you doubt me if you go through any books previously published there no name only it is written only it is written baba nothing no name nothing follow follow no name no name no way but at present some devotees forcefully giving name they say they giving some scientific judgment they say mara you are writing this book there is any any something uh, somebody going to put question you will have to give answer you will have to give answer no? like protest note i wrote i wrote everything but i give the name of my godmother or somebody those who are judge i give name but people know written by me edited by me but still i give the name follow many time it happens so to give honor to them so ayu sriyo yasho dharma lokana asi sevacha handing siyanse sarvani mahadati krama if somebody going to transgress one you know exalted sadhu then he can lose his you know ayu ayu mean life span his life span can come down life span ayu sriyo is he can become dirty looking many such case previously i can show you the picture of that man before committing of ara i i have that picture and after that now i can show him picture like a demo his face i can show you the face i like a demo so ayu sriyo all his you know Uh, brightness all is sweetness all can go away again i can show you some very dirty lady dirty in the sense not ugly lady not dirty not dirty ugly lady not looking beautiful but she is doing hari bhajan she is doing so much hari bhajan whole day and night and yes yes you know extreme love for guru vishnu bhagwan i can show you he her face some sort of sweetness there though i know she is ugly looking though i know she is ugly looking not beautiful lady but still i can show you some sweetness there sweetness like the case of you know shabari ma from from ramayana you can and practically also i can show you so many practically can show you so are you life span can go away you can become ugly looking are you sri yasho all your previous good name sri ayu sri yasho dharma whatever general dharma done by you not bhagavad dharma or maybe bhagavad dharma who can know previously maybe you have done now you fall down maybe so all dharma their reaction or result you cannot get it can get lost ayu sri yasu dharma lokana shish lokana shishe vacha suppose some big big devotees or my uh, or senior devotees you know they already wanted to bless me or my grandfather or grand grandfather ha eh? is not possible usually grand grandfather you cannot meet grandfather we can meet but usually sometime it happens so they when they marry in a very small age i i have seen in my life one father eh, one grand grandson is watching his father grandfather even the grand grandfather is there <laughs> is there so uh if they are blessing all can get banished so ayu sriyo yasu dharmo lokana asi sevacha hunting sanks sarvani mahadatikramah i am giving each and every drop of drop of blood for the protection and preservation of saraswat gauriya sampradayik dignity but you all mission you all misunderstand me un unnecessarily 
yesterday i went everywhere to request them i was ready to catch their lotus feet please stop doing this nonsense but they are not it they are kapat they are speaking you are coming in the last moment i am coming in the last moment you don't know you don't know you are staying in goriamat for the past you know uh, 20 years 25 years you say you don't know you are kapat he is speaking you are coming in the last moment how we can stop eh? you are coming in the last moment i already spoke in harikatha in minnapur there also i told you kapat you kapat you are kapat number 1 i already told in minnapur harikatha but still you say you are i am coming late if kapat people is there then no solution all and every even world where can come to an end if there is heart is plain i can stop world where i can stop world where by the teachings of chaitanya mahapo by the teachings of bhakti siddha but i cannot stop you because your position is more than world where world where can be stopped some day but your fighting can never stop because you are kapat you, you you are kapat so solution we can never find so ayu sriyo yasu dharma lokana ashish evacha hantin sans sarvani mahadatikam huh another i think you are novice in gauriya siddhant not even abcd otherwise why you can say why you why how you can speak mahaprabhu told if i have done mahaprabhu told i can see you i can show you mahaprabhu told if you are doing offense unto the lotus feet of sam vaishna you will have to beg pardon from that vaishna suppose i have done offense unto your lotus feet suppose i have done some offense unto your lotus feet but i am going to uh, beg for pardon from another vaishya who is staying in puri how i can get even abc not start kinder kindergarten i think in your bhajan life you are going to lose everything even kindergarten teaching is not there mahaprabhu told one throne mahaprabhu giving this example here man your attention please mahaprabhu giving this example if one throne mahaprabhu giving this example you hear with full patience it is my request unto your lotus feet i am your friend father mother everything i am not your enemy i can solemnly say i am not your enemy i am your friend i am topmost friend in your life but you don't understand mahaprabhu giving this example if some throne going inside your body by leg suppose one throne in you are walking you are walking down the street but somehow some throne entering your leg entering your leg so you will have to you will have to get it back you will have to get it back from leg because it is particularly the place particularly the place from where the throne went into your body you have to take help of some another throne and get it out mahaprabhu giving this as an example if one throne entering into your leg that throne that throne that throne surely cannot come out from your mouth from your head or hand no so you are so foolish i cannot expect this kind of foolishness in your life you you are now now you can discover yourself empty like that lady she told me maharaj now i am empty ha huh? how how you are empty he empty you are hearing harikatha from 10 years but now uh, due to offense you are empty empty nothing there so in chaitanya jyotamito you can find this example one throne going inside your body and inside your leg so you will have to take help of another throne or operation you can get it out from leg not from head 
If leg entering into your body through leg, you will have to get it from, get it out from there, not from leg or mouth or ear or eyes. So see, you are foolish. Hey, you are you are putting all and a foolish argument. Are up to now, up to now nobody coming. You are the first man, first. Nobody up to now. Whatever I wrote, whatever I spoke, nobody coming. You are the first. So I am praying to Bhagavan so that Bhagavan can excuse you, protect you. I don't know what will happen. Anyway, so Bhagavan can reserve one special power which is called self-manifesting power. <clears throat> so with this material eyes, surely we cannot see Bhagavan because otherwise Shapalubal Chapal Gopal could see Bhagavan. Or the marketplace, so many people, they could see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They have a material eyes. That is not. So, my darshan kriya, try to understand. So, my darshan kriya, surely going to get some backing. So, my darshan kriya, going to get some backing. What is that backing? My bhajan power. So according to your sanskar, material people getting darshan, those who are doing bhajan, according to their grade of bhajan, how, how and which way they are doing bhajan, Bhagavan is satisfied with them or not, this way. So according to that darshan, one sadhu can get the scope to, like Pallad Maharaj, in Brihad Bhagavatam, it is written, if there is no value of direct darshan of Bhagavan, why Prahlad Maharaj wanted to take direct darshan? Anyway, mental, mental darshan, manasik darshan. <coughs> anyway, manasik darshan is, anyway, manasik darshan, mental darshan, always going on inside the heart of all you. They are always watching Jagannath. They need not go to Purushottam Dham. They can see Jagannath more clearly than you. You are fighting, making a AC ticket, super fast and go there. You book a room which costs 5,000 or 10,000 a day, but still you cannot see Jagannath. That's why Papa told, in the name of watching Jagannath, you can see something else. Something else you can see. You cannot see Jagannath. Jagannath can deprive you. Maya Devi can deprive you. So what to speak on about internal darshan always going on? In the life of a pure sadhu, internal darshan always going on. But still, they like to see Bhagavan in front of them. Follow. Like the case of Gopikas. Are they cannot forget Krishna. They cannot forget Krishna. Krishna is always there. They like to forget Krishna. Uddhavji giving advice. Well, you try to remember Krishna. Are foolish. You you can you can you show us the way how to how to forget Krishna? You are giving us advice to remember Krishna. We cannot just forget Krishna. But still. Radharani and Gopikas, they like to get Krishna directly, directly in front of them. Not mental darshan like yogi, jnani, no, not that. Jnani means jnani, impersonal, but some jnani, pure jnani. They also have the chance to see. Not Mayavadi jnani. Jnani also different kind of jnani. Like the case of Sukhdev Goswami, previously he was busy, he already told, Parinishchita opi nairgunne, Parinishchita opi nairgunne, Grihito Tomasrok Lilaya. My heart and mind was, were captivated by the Leela and beauties of Bhagavan. Previously, I used to do bhajan of Ekakshar Brahmamad. Parinishchita opi nairgunne, nairgunne means nirgun. So, so many examples I see. So, 
और भगवान ऑल्सो टोल्ड मद भक्त जत्रु गायंती तत्व तिष्ठा में नारद भगवान स्पीकिंग टू नारद जी महाराज भगवान स्पीकिंग टू नारद जी महाराज भगवान स्पीकिंग टू नारद जी महाराज वॉट स्पीकिंग भगवान स्पीकिंग मद भक्त ट्राई टू हियर मद भक्त यत्र गायंती तत्व तिष्ठा में नारद वेर माई डिबोट इज अ सिंगिंग ग्लोरीज अ भगवान there i i myself pre, pre, you know eh big i i myself present there wherever my devotee pure devotee is singing there i present but we cannot see why why you cannot see because we are blind we are blind Uh, or I can say some devotees also they cannot see they are not blind so material people they are blind they cannot see but for devotees we cannot say this for devotees they if Bhagwan like to show darshan if Bhagwan like to manifest himself in front of them then, like the case of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu his sankirtan going going on in front of chariot Jagannath chariot only queen. Only King Patwa Patabruddho, Sharma Bharte Jajjo, Kas, you know, they can see Kasi Misro. They can see from the rooftop that Mahaprabhu dancing at a time in the same in the seven sampradaya. In different, in different, all different seven sampradaya, Mahaprabhu at a time dancing. They are watching only they. I mean. King Pratap Rudra, Sarvam Bharta Jijo, and Kasi Misro. Nobody else. Even not those parshad of Bhagwan. Those were those were dancing in seven sampradaya. Each of them watching that Mahaprabhu is my sampradaya. Try to understand. Each of them seven sampradaya. Each of them. do i know in each sampraday in each and every sampraday one devotee they are watching that chaitanya mahaprabhu my prabhu dancing and singing in my sampraday he love me very much that's why not going to other sampraday so that same mahaprabhu dancing in other sampraday also like bakar sapandi dancing in one sampraday Shivas Pandit dancing in one sampraday, all different on the other side, all different sampraday. Nitamlo, but still, everybody, if Bhagwan, if Bhagwan don't like to show you, if Bhagwan don't like to show you, then surely you cannot say, you cannot see. So, it is a condition. So, what to speak about material eyes, which is made up of Blood, flesh, you know, everything you cannot see. So, rupam satyam khalu bhagavatam sachidahanand sandram. Rupam satyam khalu bhagavatam sachidahanand sandram. Jogoir grajam bhavati karanir. सच्चिदानंद रूपम मंसाक्षिभ्या ददती घटते तस्ो कारुण्यशक्तिया सदोलब्ध्या तदुचित तो गतिर्दर्शन से हयाव सो भगवान इज नॉट लाइक आस द बॉडी ऑफ भगवान इज मेड आप ऑफ सच्चिदानंद विग्रह नॉट मेड अप ऑफ ब्लड एंड फ्लेश एनथिंग भगवान इज नॉट मेड अप ऑफ ब्लड एंड फ्लेश द ऑल सच्चिदानंद स्वरूप भगवान वेन भगवान कामिंग इवन वेन इवन वेन भगवान कामिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ आस 
like in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Ramchandra, Sri Krishna, Ramchandra, still their body is Satchidan. Even externally, in the battlefield, you can find blood coming out from the body of Bhagavan Sri Krishna in the battlefield, Kurukhyatra. You can think that you told Bhagavan is Satchidananda was blood coming out. Why? <laughs> that to make full of you. To make full of you, blood coming out. To make full of you. So blood coming out from the body of Krishna, Satchidananda Vigra. But still, externally it seems blood coming out. So still he is a prakita. Similarly, Guru Vaishnava manifesting Sikh Lela, but still they are Aprakita. I told you many times, Krishna Bhakti Shudha Panat Deho Dehi Kavishrite Tesham Panchavati Deho Pi Satchidananda Rupata. In from this Brihad Bhagavatam, I quote this sloka from Brihad Bhagavatam. I, I quote this sloka from Brihad Bhagavatam. Written by written by Sanatana Gusa. So by watching by watching the honest mood, by watching the honest mood, by watching the honest mood of bhajan of of Gopakuma, by watching his tremendous Guru Anugatha, by watching his simplicity, by watching his renunciation, he is less interested to get in La Puja Patishta. Now, Vaikuntha Marsat promise him, Vaikuntha Marsat promise him that we are there. We are there to protect you all the time. We are there to protect you all the time. We are there to protect you all the time. No speaking. So, Bhagavan, out of his causeless mercy, sometime come in front of devotee to express his self-manifesting power, I mean to give darshan, and due to tremendous affection, devotee also love Bhagavan, so tremendous. Madanate Najananti Naham Tebhya Managopi. This kind of devotee, when Bhagavan come in front of devotee and manifest his self-manifesting power, still devotees out of their uh, tremendous love and affection for Bhagavan, they think we are watching Bhagavan uh, because we have our eyes, but actually not so. It seems that we are watching our eyes. It is the mercy of Bhagavan. Bhagavan sometimes like to give absolute enjoyment to devotees so they can feel I am your friend, I am coming in front of you, play, this kind of things, you know. So, even I already discuss, I already discuss that those Vaikuntha Parshat, those Vaikuntha Parshat, they are bound to declare openly. Those Vaikuntha Parshads, they are bound to declare openly, Ho Gopakumar, by watching you, your honest mood and sincerity, your enunciation, your tremendous love of Guru. We are sure, Vaikuntha Parshad, they are speaking. We are sure that you are enjoying special Kipa Bhagavan. Vaikundu, come on, Vaikundu Barsha speaking. We are sure you are the actual Kipapatra of Bhagavan. Sri Krishna Chandra Sho Mahanu Kampyasma Bhistira Tai Abodharitasti Lena No Shakshad Bhagavad Riddiksha Jatat Jastataho how you know if somebody asking to all Vaikuntha Parsha, if somebody asking to those Vaikuntha Parsha, how you know? How you know? 
that Gopakumar enjoying food, special kipa bhagma. But uh, we know, how we know, we are going to explain. Gopakumar went to Muktipa. It is impossible to reject that kind of lucrative offer. It is almost impossible to reject that kind of lucrative offer. Whereas that that Tapaloka Nivashinaha, the Chatusan Adi, they wanted to convince him uh, uh, those sadhus staying there, they are busy with uh, Manasik Darshan. They wanted to give some uh, uh, give some Bicha to Gopakumar to convert him, but still he was not converted. That is the topmost reason for why. Follow. How we know one sadhu is actual sadhu? Many times I told, but still you cannot remember. Because you have some biasness, some party color. Some party color. You have some biasness. You have done some offense. That's why you become blind. Even after hearing thousands of harikatha, you become blind. So, Gopakumar is not converted. The heart of Gopakumar is still intact. As per the instruction of Gurudev, he is doing bhajan. Gopakumar has strong faith that today or tomorrow, Bhagavan can come in front of me. I like to serve him, love him. By the desire of, by the blessings of Gurudev, he has strong faith in Guru and Guru Var. Okay, fine, nice. Sri Krishna Chandra Shomahan Kampyas Mavi Sthira Toi Avodharitasti Linano Shakshat Bhagavad Diksha Tattapo Loko Nivasi Bhakwe. That is the hundred percent. This is the this is the topmost evidence. That is the topmost evidence that your heart is not converted even by the by the by the instruction of those Tapaloko Nivashinaha, those who are living in Tapaloka, those rishis, still your heart is not current. That is a, that is a hundred percent document, document that you are enjoying full keep of Bhagavan. Still today, you are having the same mood. Many, many, many offers you got in your life, but you wanted to reject it, you don't like, because you are, you are, you are, Having strong faith for Nanda Nandan Krishna. Rupam Satyam Kalu Bhagavata Satchidananda Sandram Yogair Grajam Bhavati Karanair Satchidananda Rupam Mangshakshibhyam Tadati Ghatate Tashukarun Shaktya Shaddu Lavda Taduchita Gatera Darshanam Se Hayava. So, when somebody watching by eyes, by the mercy of Bhagavan, still the Darshan is by the help of Bhagavan, by the help of Bhagavan, by the help of Antar Chakshu. You heard this word, Antar Chakshu, Mane, inner vision. Though we are looking by one by the help of these eyes, but still not so. The Siddhanta I can clarify tomorrow. Why so important it is to cut all false ego, everything. Everything. Follow. So you see what speaking. So I can discuss this point tomorrow. Uh, uh, to clarify this point. Even when Bhagavan manifest, Bhagavan is self-manifesting. Even when Bhagavan coming in front of us, we are watching Bhagavan. Still, we should remember we are watching Bhagavan by the keeper of Bhagavan because he is self manifesting. And surely our inner vision power, 
Antar darshan is responsible for this kind of darshan, uh, enjoyment. Because whenever, whenever we are getting enjoyment, we cannot get enjoyment by the help of eyes. Try to follow what I mean to say. Suppose you are watching, suppose you are watching something beautiful temple or deity, you know, enjoyment you can get inside your mind. Don't follow what I say. Man, we are watching by eyes, but the enjoyment, eyes getting enjoyment, but the enjoyment we are feeling inside the heart. We say it is the enjoyment of our eyes, but enjoyment by the help of eyes we cannot get enjoyment. Enjoyment is a factor of uh, is, is a enjoyment we can get by the help of mind. Anybody taking sweet, very nice sweet, oh so nice, is laughing. Enjoyment. But the enjoyment, enjoyment, actually you are feeling by the help of your mind not by the help of your time. So, originally mind is a leader of everything. So, I can come to this point tomorrow if I discuss. So, any kind of darshan, but ultimately enjoyment, what you are feeling, what you are, you know, that you are getting by the help of your mind. So, in Bhagavatam, it is written about Ambaris Maharaj, Shavai mana Krishna padar vindayor bachang sikvai kuntu gunan varnani Karutan mandira marjanadishu shutim chakar chito sat katho dai Mukundu linga alaya darshani dishau tad bittu gattu sparsha anga sangamam Then, first of all is starting with mind. Mind is a leader. If mind is under control, then all sense sense organ can come under my control. Follow all sense organ. So it's very important. Sometimes we think something, but actually not so. Next look I can utter, but I can explain tomorrow. Today time cannot permit. Taddarshane gyanodrishaivo jayomane opi. Pashyami aham esho drigbham mano bhavet krishna kipa prabhava vigyapako harsha vise he sabridvai. What? Tad darshane gyano drishaivo jayamane opi pashyami aham esho drigbham manu. Bhavet Krishna Kipa Prabhava Vigyapako Harsha Vishesha Vridvai Bhagavan, out of his causeless mercy, sometime can become an object of darshan of one devotee. But still, I already told many times, Bhagavan, is not an object of darshan. Rather, we can say we are actually one drisha. Many times, Prabhupada wanted to explain. We are actually drisha. We are an object. We are an object. Krishna can see us. We cannot see Krishna. We are all object for the sense gratification of Krishna. Absolute sense. All our our body, mind, what all our position, everything we keep aside for the exclusive and absolute you know, enjoyment of Krishna. We cannot get enjoyment, but still we are getting enjoyment. It is on the part of Bhagavan, he likes to give us enjoyment. That I can discuss tomorrow by the help of some sloka. Today I will have to stop here. Excuse me. I cannot uh, continue anymore. So, uh, Karmendriyani Sangyam Yah Asti Manasa Asmaram Indiyarthano Bimuratma 
मिथाचारु सौच्यते वाचकल्पतरुष्य के पास सिंधु में बजे पतितानंग पावने भो वैष्णव भ्यो नमो नमः